Now let's look at uh, one of the many things that can go wrong when you're dealing with coordinate systems, dealing with ARC. So I've got ARC catalog on the left here with some data sets that I want to bring in, and ARC map on the right, and I've got a state's uh, boundary file that uh, if, if I look at my data frame properties and look at the coordinate system, it's currently defined as US, US contiguous Lambert conformal conic with an underlying datum of NAD83. All right, so anything that I bring in, I want to match this in order for things to line up. So let's look at some of the problems that I might run across. Um, in the first part of this, we look for this uh, reprojects on the fly. That works if everything is defined correctly. Let's look at another state's file. And it may be something I downloaded off the net and imported. And if I look at its properties, this is incredibly common. that I, I have no coordinate system defined for that. So it says unknown. So let's see. Let's just play dumb here and see what happens when we bring that into ArcMap. So I'm going to drag this over here. And before I drop here, um, think about what might happen. What's Arc going to do with this when it doesn't have a coordinate system defined? And it's definitely not in Lambert Conformal Conic. All right, I get a, a warning message here. It says that the there's no coordinate system uh, defined, so it, it's going to draw it, but it doesn't know how to project it. So uh, let me change the color for this so we can see uh, the difference here. All right, now if it lined things up, if I turned off the top one, I should be able to see that states underneath, and I don't. Um, I can go looking for it, I can zoom to layer, and it will find it. Um, move that on top. But I notice that I see some gray, <laughs> brown in the background. I Means This is really tiny relative to the Lambert conformal conic. Uh, if I zoom to the whole extent, uh, it's somewhere down in here since the coordinates are so small. So it, it did not line those up correctly. So since it didn't have a coordinate system defined, it didn't know what to do with it. All right, so let's see um, how we can fix that. We're going to do this in two different ways. So I'm going to remove this file. I'm going to go over to my uh, original data set over here in our catalog, and I'm going to define its coordinate system. Um, now, I have a couple ways I could, I could do that. Um, well, first of all, looking at the coordinate system down here at the bottom, the, the coordinates I get are definitely latitude and longitude. So I know it's a geographic coordinate system. What I don't know is whether or not it's NAT83, NAT27. So I'd have to go and I'd have to either look in the metadata to see if I can find something there, or I may have to go back to the website that I got this from to find out what coordinate system that was from. So let's just say I've done that and I found out that it's geographic NAT83. So I'm going to label this correctly. I'm not going to change any of the underlying coordinates, but I'm going to use our catalog and the properties here and I'm going to set the coordinate system. Note that this dialog, this really, really important, does not reproject anything. All it does is label it. So if I did want to switch coordinate systems, I'd have to use a different tool. I can only label this with the coordinate system that that underlying features are, are in. So I'm going to select um, what I got from the website, which was that this was Geographic NAD 83. Go to North America. Uh, notice I've got several different versions of NAT83 here that show up. And for the most part, unless you notice otherwise, you want the vanilla variety, this one here. Say OK. Uh, say OK. It saves that. Now the coordinate system is defined. Let's see what happens now when we bring it in to ArcMap. OK. Again, change the color so we can see this. And now when I turn that on and off, they line up. So when ARC has the coordinate system, even if it's a different um, one's projecting and one's not, it'll line them up, but it won't if it's undefined. All right, we'll look in the next video at one other way to do this.